Hey guys, Peter Kiss here, the One Take Wonder. In this video, I'm going to be looking at unboxing the Gigabyte B450M gaming motherboard. It's a micro ATX motherboard. So let's get stuck into it. So like I mentioned, I am a One Take Wonder. So this video, yeah, no cuts or anything like that. I just unbox it and get on with it. So uh, you've got your IO shield there for the back. You've got two SATA cables. One of them is right angled, one of them is straight. And very minimal. Hmm, I don't think there's even an instruction manual in here. Oh, hang on, no, we've got some stuff underneath the cardboard. Here we go. Got a little quick guide there. Actually, that's, that's the whole user manual. Wow, that is the smallest one that I've seen. It's literally an A4 page. That's cool. Guess, yeah, less wasted paper. You've got a CD there, which you know you're not gonna use. Most people don't have DVD drives or Blu-ray drives on their computers. Unless you've got a gaming PC, maybe you might. And there's the Gigabyte warranty information card. So what I'll do is I'll throw all this just quickly back in the box. And I'll have a look at the motherboard itself and talk about it. So, yeah, like I mentioned, this is the Gigabyte B450M Gaming Edition motherboard. And there we go. So there's the look of it there. Very nice. All right, so you've got the single PCIe Express 16 slot there, then you've got two X1 slots. Um, you've got your four SATA ports there, as well as a USB 3 port there. One of the things that I think this one had, yeah, the two USB 2.0 pins there, eight pin power up the top. Uh, what else? 24 pin power there, obviously. Your two DDR4 slots, and then the AM4 slot. So, when it comes to ports, you've got your two PS2 slots for the older style keyboards and mice, DVI, D-Sub, then you've got HDMI, four USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, Gigabyte LAN, Gigabit LAN, sorry, um, and your audio jacks. So yeah, for a budget micro ATX board, that's a pretty nice looking board, especially with the red accent there. This is going to go into a build later down the track, so make sure you subscribe to the TechWiz Time channel to check that, that out. And also, um, yeah, this will be using the Ryzen third generation, 3600. But what I'll have to do in the meantime is I'll have to flash that using an old 2400G. Um, otherwise, if you don't have one of those, you can request it from AMD to flash an older motherboard with a, I think it's like an Athlon or something like that, they send out to you. So that's that's an option if you don't, if you wanna go for the B450M platform, but don't want to, yeah, but wanna go for the Ryzen 3 chipset, uh, CPUs. Anyway, that's, um yeah, that's my unboxing of the Gigabyte B450M gaming motherboard. Um, if you liked it, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also make sure you subscribe to TechWiz Time because that's where I do my main reviews and build guides and all that sort of thing. Um, if you could share this video and like it, that would be really great as well. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.